just want to welcome you to the Live in Faith Everyday broadcast where we learn who God is, where we learn who we are in God, and where we learn how to live in faith every day. Glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice in it. You know, I have victory over this world. I have victory over the enemy. You know what? You have victory over this world. You have victory over the enemy. You have victory over circumstances. You have victory over diseases. You have victory over sicknesses. All of these things God has given us the power and dominion over and has given us a way of victory over anything that the enemy may try to throw at us, regardless of what it might be. Regardless, whether it's prosperity, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whatever it may be. And it's found in 1 John 5, 4 that this is the victory or this is the means of our success. Faith, our faith, is what gives us the victory over this world. Last week we talked about Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24, where we found out where Jesus simply said this, the answer to anything you'll need is found in Mark 11, 22, and it simply says this, it says, have faith in God. The Word of God tells us right there how to have victory, how to have anything in our life supplied for us. You know, Psalm 23 starts off with, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. One translation has, I shall not lack. Well, what's Jesus saying right here? He is saying that when you have faith in God, that you have control over circumstances and situations. Why? Because you have faith in God. Some translations actually have it written like this. Have the faith, have the God kind of faith. One translation says, have the faith of God. And then Jesus went on in Mark 11, 23 and told us how to operate in this God kind of faith. How to operate in this God kind of faith. God calls those things that be not as though they were. He speaks faith-filled words. He believes in his heart that what he says is going to come to pass. And that's exactly what Jesus told us to do in Mark 11, 23. He said, Whosoever will say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe what he says shall come to pass, then he shall have whatsoever he does what? Says. Therefore, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. That was Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24. So, we are to have faith in God. The way that we operate in this God kind of faith is that we speak words of faith. God spoke words of faith. As a matter of fact, the scripture tells us that the world was framed by the words of God, by the word of God. It says that everything is being upheld by the word of God. God spoke faith filled words. When he said light be, there was no light other than that was what was in him and when he spoke light light come into existence. God called something into existence that didn't exist before and it was light. Glory to God. And then he made the heavens and the earth and all of these things. He called things into being by speaking faith filled words. And that's the very way that you and I are to live our life. We are to live our life by speaking faith filled words words over whatever circumstance, whatever mountain the enemy may try to throw at us, regardless. Hey, look, if you're having problems with a relationship, faith-filled words fixes that relationship. If you're having problems with, a, with a, a finances, faith-filled words take care of that those finances. If you're having problems with a physical ailment, faith-filled words in line with the Word of God takes care of or gives you the victory over whatever that disease or sickness may be. Now, we're going to get into some more stuff this morning about faith, because this is the Live in Faith Everyday broadcast, so we need to be learning. We've been talking in times past about who is God and who we are in God. We've been talking about our mind, and nothing changes until we change the way we think. Well, the Lord has, has led us now. Let's start into this thing of faith. He gave me a word back in 2018. It says, now is time for the faith campaign. If you look up that word campaign, you find out that it is an, uh, 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 an attack. It is a, it is a crusade. It is, it is something that, that where you take and you get faith out to where the people understand what faith is all about. And that's what we're going to talk about for the next little while. We're going to talk about faith and how do we have this faith to be able to overcome everything that the enemy throws at us. 
we got to understand it from ground level. we got to understand that. Faith is the substance. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's Hebrews 11. 1. We have to understand that. Faith is the foundation that assures our expectation, which is the word hope translated into Greek, will become our manifestation, which means, which simply says things will become seen to us. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the foundation that assures that we can have our expectations become our manifestations, that we can walk in the healing, we can walk in the in the prosperity, we can walk in the deliverance, we can walk in the relationship. All of the things that God has told us we can have, we receive everything we get from God by faith. So we got to understand this faith. we got uh, Galatians talking talks about how we walk by faith. We're to walk by faith. Now, 2 Corinthians 5 says this, we're to walk by faith and not by sight. We're not to be looking at these things that are around us. We're to be looking at things through the eyes of faith. We're calling those things the very way that God does things, the very way that God operates in faith, the very, the very way that he, that he does things. We're supposed to be doing that very thing. We're supposed to be calling those things that be not as though they were. That way they can start manifesting their life. If you need healing in your body right now, you need to start calling your body healed. you got to start building your faith up right now. You don't want to wait until you get sick to start having try to build up faith. You don't start building your muscles up and it happens instantly, does it? No, it takes a little bit of time. So you got to start building some faith up because you only can have faith to the degree that you know him and you can only know him to the degree that you spend time with him. But Jesus told us, Mark eleven twenty two. this is the answer to whatever you need. Have faith in God. And then he said in Mark eleven twenty three, this is how you get what you get from God. Glory to God. And then he, and, and, and Matthew eleven twenty four. 24, he did not put any limits on anything from God. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. That's the word of God. And it's all in red. So you can take that's Jesus said it. Glory to God is in red. Hallelujah. So right now, if you would, go ahead and get your Bible and open up to Romans chapter 10. And we're going to get started in this. And this is how faith comes. This is, this is how do we get this faith that allows us to overcome this world. How does it come to us? Glory to God. So are you ready? Get you a notebook, get your ink pen, get your Bible out, because I believe you're going to be blessed. Revelation knowledge is going to flow. Glory to God. I'm going to lead us in prayer. You, you get ready. Father, we just come right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity we have to come together this morning. Father, we thank you for this opportunity we have, Lord, to share your word. Father, we thank you right now, Lord, that faith is going forth into the atmosphere. And, Father, we decree and we declare with faith-filled words that people's lives are being changed. Father, we decree and we declare with faith-filled words, Father God, Lord, that bodies are being healed. Father, we decree and we declare with faith-filled words that right now the 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 enemies tactics are falling off of people their prosperity is coming upon them right now in jesus name the lies of the devil are right now being revealed by the truth of god and father we thank you lord that people's lives are being changed right now in jesus name father we thank you for revelation knowledge light right now in Jesus name and we magnify you for it glory to God in Jesus name amen alright Romans chapter 10 listen to what verse 17 says Romans 10 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God so faith can't come unless you hear something and the only thing that will produce faith in us is what produced by hearing the word of God the word hearing there it, 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 uh, the word word there I mean is actually the word rhema it's a spoken word it's God speaking to us as the word of God becomes alive and real in us guess what can happen we understand who God is and faith can grow on the inside of us faith gets developed in us by how by hearing the word of God Romans 12 3 says that God has dealt unto every man the measure of faith he's talking to the church there dealt unto every man the measure of faith so you have faith but it's got to be developed and the way it gets developed first off is you got to hear the word of God remember he was talking to the church at Rome when he said God has dealt unto every man the measure of faith glory to God so you have to you have to hear the word of God before faith can ever be developed 
Hebrews 11, 6 says this. says, but without faith it is impossible to please Him, referring to God. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. So understand something, that when God said that without faith it is impossible to please Him, remember this, if God demands us to have faith, it would be impossible to, it would be impossible for me, let me start, if God demands that I have faith, when it is impossible for me to have that faith, then I have a right to challenge His justice. Glory to God. But, if when I hear the Word of God, He places faith within my hands, the means whereby faith can be produced, then the responsibility rests with me whether or not I have faith. Glory to God. Can you understand that? In other words, if God says, hey, look, without faith it's impossible to please me, but he does not give you any way to get that faith, then he's being unjust, and he's not an unjust God. So what he does is he gives us the ability to get faith. How? How do we get a hold of this faith? How does this faith come alive and real on the inside of us to overcome the world? How does this faith become alive and real on the inside of us to overcome sickness and disease? How does this faith become alive and real on the inside of us to overcome poverty? How does this faith become alive and real on the inside of us to, to correct relationships? By hearing the Word of God. Glory to God. So, if you and I don't have faith in our life, if we're not walking in this faith that's what, that God is talking about, or that we're talking about this morning, this faith that allows us to overcome the worldly system, then guess what? It's not God's fault. We can't blame God for it. Because God has given us the ability to be able to get a hold of faith, to be able to find out what is faith. He's put it in His Word for us to be able to get a hold to it. And in order for us to get a hold to it, we're going to have to hear it. Well, it's the same way concerning faith for salvation. Those of you that's listening, bless God, the same way that you got saved by hearing the Word of God on salvation is the same way and confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. The believing in your heart and the confessing out of your mouth is the same way that you get everything from God. It's not just limited to salvation. It's not just limited to getting to go to heaven. It's the same way that we get everything from God by hearing the Word of God. Listen to Ephesians 2 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and not and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. We know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So here we have it. This is the answer. If we want healing in our body, if we need healing in our body, we operate in this God kind of faith the same way that we got saved. Glory to God. The same identical way that we got saved, we operate in the same in this God kind of faith that we get healed. The same way, bless God, by speaking words of faith out of our mouth, by believing in our heart, by hearing the Word of God. In order for you to get healed in your body, you're going to have to hear the Word of God on healing. In order for you to get uh, healing in, in your finances, you're going to have to hear the Word of God on finances. In order for you to get healed in your relationship, you're going to have to hear the Word of God on relationship healing. Why? Because that's the only way faith can come, by hearing the Word of God. Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's all the time we have for this week. Let me just lead us in a word of prayer. Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for this opportunity that we have to share your word this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord, that right now faith is coming. Father, we got our ears open, Lord. We're listening to your word, Father. We thank you right now, Lord, that healing is coming to buy our bodies. Father, we thank you right now deliverance is coming to our lives. Father, we thank you right now, Lord, that peace is coming to our lives, Father. We decree and we declare now peace over people's lives in Jesus' name, Father. So we give you glory, honor, and praise for all that you're doing right now in Jesus' name. All right, this is Brother James Amon. Until next week, I just want to encourage you to live in faith every day.